Good afternoon, or what is a mild, bright and sunny day. It is Tuesday the 14th of February and I'm in the room with a nice cup of tea. And a light parcel to unbox. Let's get the knife ready. Let's see if I can get this open without any fuss. Finding the point of the uh, treat for the knife. Yeah, I'm literally having to cut my way in because it's quite solidly packaged up. Yeah, here we go. Take a bit of heavy cutting. And then, and what I've got in here is another package. Oh, I'm, I'm there we go. So, I've got inside it, and this one's a bit easier because I can see where it's been sealed. And that comes away nice and easy. And then what I've got is that. Also bagged and what I've got is this. Also seal it down. Quick cut and slice through some tape. And Almost, but not quite, into the box itself. This is the Valley of the Pharaohs, role-playing in it, uh, adventure in ancient Egypt. Um, and uh, it is, let's have a look, 1983 Palladium Games. Now, this is um, something I've always wanted to have a look at. I've never seen it. Um, finally been able to track down a copy. It's the only, um, it's, it's not the only historical role-playing game that Palladium published. Uh, 1986, uh, say, would have published um, Recon and then Advanced Recon, uh, which is the Vietnam set role-playing game. Uh, but it is the only role-playing game, I think, that Palladium published which, did, which didn't use its Megaversal or Megaverse um, role-play system, which you see in just about everything else that it publishes. It's obviously riffs, uh, but also uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Other Strangeness, uh, Recon um, at uh, Robotech and so on. So let's find out what is in this box. I'm hoping that it's going to be uh, complete. Um, so more packaging inside. Uh, we have, um, let's start off, we've got a Poster map. So we've got a poster map of Egypt. Um, Egypt. Then we have quite um, a slim rule book. This amounts to, uh, well, 50 pages. Um, and it's very much done in the early uh, Palladium style because um, I, I did an unboxing of the Mechanoid role-playing game trilogy and it's just like this. Really quite dense, tight text, quite tiny. Um, so uh, we have... Um, at, uh, um, you've got a glossary, we've got an illustration there, the basic that's the board game Senate, I believe, which is the, the Egyptian board game, which um, they sort of pieced how to get together how to play, and then we get into the, the characteristics of the elements that make up character attributes, um, hit points, skills, and occupations. Um, 
so we have uh, things like um, priests, scholars, merchants, uh, thieves. So we've got any kind of. Um, oh, there's a soldier one is there at the front there. Uh, these are the occupations. But, uh, So I'm quite glad I got this in this year because this is actually published in 1983. So I can do a, I can do a 40th anniversary review of this. That'd be quite interesting. Uh, and then um, very quick section on skill proficiency before we're into the combat section and magic. So you, there's a certain brevity to this. There's a lot of text here, but I think you know, given you know, it's 13 pages and we're into magic already. And we've got a full list of spells there that, that you, you, your, your priest might be able to cast. Um, to, uh, then section two, section two dealing with the value of the pharaohs, it, 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 uh, um, the historical background to the setting. Um, uh, to government, society, law, slavery and so on, um, crafts and industry. Uh, lots of illustrations here, quite a lot of illustrations here, considering its age. And, but I mean, this is, I'm presuming this is the, the um, it's um, art by Mary Walsh and Kevin Sambiuda. He Sambiuda does like doing, putting a lot of artwork into his books. Um, and then we have two maps, one of modern Egypt, one of uh, um, um, Egypt Empire, uh, roughly... Um, 15, 1450 uh, BCE, the pharaohs, um, who they are, um, and then we have um, section dealing with the, the, the um, clergy, because they've obviously held important roles, and that's the different gods. Uh, to, uh, then we have a vestry of animals. And notes for the game master. Uh, and then some how to set up the characters, travel notes, or, uh, um, encounters. So we've got encounter tables listed here. See, I said you really can't see very much. It's just look at the density of that text. Let me show you that. Um, then we have a um, list of gnomes, more names uh, for Lower Egypt. Uh, and then bibliography on the back. And in addition, what we have is um, we've got reference oh these are fantastic so you have um all these reference sheets in here these are this is really good uh so you know we've got the temple of uh uh shoot set i'm just trying to separate these out so you can show you um the step pyramid uh, the true pyramid Temple at Karnak. These are fantastic. Just, just references and just illustrations and, and, and you know, um, of what they're like. This is, this is, you know, I really like these. Um, but, uh, these do add quite a lot to the feel of the game. Uh, and the similar thing, we have uh, uh, simple fortifications. Uh, and then domestic houses and um, you know city fortifications, boats of the Nile, yeah fantastic references here in, in you know just these pieces, uh, it's not all, um, 
So we've got other, um, other another, we've got another a map of, of um, the Nile Valley. Um, and uh, of the Egyptian Empire, um, 1450 uh, BCE. And uh, gnomes or sepats were administrative promises of Egypt. So I'm not necessarily confused. This is basically, and then I've got a sort of list of the routes and so on that the, you would have taken up and down the Nile. So very well appointed, I think, you know, in terms of sort of like visually. And then we've got the character sheet. Bit plain. This is a bit, uh, this is a, you know, basically a little bit unwieldy. Uh, I'm sure you could condense this down somehow because there's sort of an empty space and so on. Um, but yeah, uh, this, I mean, um, quite well a point, I suppose, for um, 1983 overall as to what you get in here. Um, but, uh, interesting, interesting, it'd be interesting to give this a proper review, which I will. Um, so that is uh, Valley of the Pharaohs. Palladium Games 1983. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this unboxing in the nook. If you have, please do click on the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you uh, taking the time to, to, to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, where you'll see me out here with a package um, containing a book or game which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. Then please do click on the subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching another unboxing the nook. Be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.